Perfect. Welcome into tipsforgamers.com. I'm Daughtery Crib, and today we're going to be showing you how to trade for any player in Madden 22 using our force trade methods. Some of these methods you guys will know, some of them you will not. Let's jump into the video. So we're going to give ourselves a plug right in the beginning of the video, guys. Make sure to click that notification bell and click that subscribe button if you guys want more sweet and sexy content. And to top that off, make sure to go down below in the link in the description, visit our website. You guys can sign up for news alerts with our Madden 22 exclusive content. And you guys can also get merched up at our website as well. Use any of our affiliate links. They're, they're tested and trusted. Uh, so yes, make sure to do that and make sure to get merched up as well it's just business baby nothing else just lift it and on top of that if you're athletic af it's time to get merged up boys so there are two main factors when it comes to force trading the first one we're going to show you is really deadly and please guys do not go in and destroy people's leagues because with this content you have that ability and we really don't want to see our people going out guys you guys are better than that uh, you guys are the part of the T4G fam, and we really don't want to see you guys going out and being abusive in the Madden community with our content. But the first thing that we're going to talk about is the SAR, or otherwise known as the Stack and Release. Now, we did post a video to the Stack and Release because it has changed since prior years. Uh, so you guys will want to check out our brand new video, which will also be in the link in the description below, because we're not going to go into huge depth into it. We're going to make it really quick and easy. Uh, like we did in the video, we went after Trey Lance, and we'll show you this, but this doesn't work for every single guy. In the video, you'll see, like, if you want Trevor Lawrence, it's a little bit different, okay? So everyone's at a 53 out of 53-man roster, like we say a million times, guys. And what you want to do this, you actually want to start doing this if you want Trevor Lawrence. I might have said Trevor Lance. I don't know. I hope I didn't. I'm getting them confused at this point. I'm just saying names. But if you want him, you're going to have to start in the preseason if you want him in the regular season. However, what I would do is I'm going to give him, let's say, Joe Flacco. Uh, actually, I'm going to give him Brissett because he's uh, actually I got to give him all three because I don't have another guy. Uh, and what I'm going to do since he is at the number two spot. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wave trade them three QBs and it's actually going to purge. Let's see if I can get a second round pick. It's going to purge uh Trey Lance off of their team let's go for I mean I could probably get a third and it's gonna drive me nuts if I don't get a third I couldn't I, I bet you it's smeeging me yep you dirty dogs they're going for the smeege so for the fourth and the seventh and you really don't want to trade for any players trade for draft picks I cannot stress this enough but now that I traded for the draft picks boom you see him on the free agency also before you sign him make sure you sign him to your practice squad first and then you sign him uh, to your team after signing him to the practice squad and if you do this you'll be able to sign him at the end of the year for extremely cheap and we have a video on that as well which we'll have in the link in the description below now there are so many ways to use the SAR and your benefit to force trades to go through uh, right there I forced to where Trey Lance is now going to be on my team and I got him for Joe Flacco Jacoby Brissett and then Senate. I've never seen this guy in my life but now they have them and apparently these three guys are worth Trey Lance which is pretty awesome they can have Jimmy Garoppolo I don't want him I'd rather have Trey um, and so yeah there's ways to do this you need to make sure the player you're doing it for is in the second string position you'll see them on the depth chart in the second string position so there are ways if you uh, if you're using your head here you'll be able to trade for a guy place him onto a team advance one week for him to go into the depth chart and then what you'll be able to do is you will be able to get any player that you want as long as their overall is is beneath the guy who's ahead of them okay and we have a video on this that you guys need to check out so make sure to do that now let's move on to step two now with step two step two is extremely easy it's basically the same as changing pat mahomes name Patrick Mahomes name to Tim Darnold and this one though you can only do if you are league commissioner so keep that in mind if you're not league commissioner you are not going to be able to do this you can only change the position of the players who are already on your team now if you also want to keep your league commissioner true and make sure he's not doing this stuff look at the transaction page as much as possible because your league commissioner has all the power in the world to use this against you guys so make sure you are monitoring him just as much as he is monitoring you or she i'm corrupt to the core although if you do find your league commissioner doing some shady stuff it would be pretty difficult getting them 
kicked out of the league. I'm not fucking leaving! But very simple, you move them to a position that they basically suck at. If it's a kicker, I don't know why you're even doing this in the beginning because they're not real people. Just kidding. I uh, love my kickers and punters. Uh, shout out to uh, Pat McAfee. Sides from that, take a QB here, you move him to a punter, he turns into hot garbage caca, and then what you're gonna do, let's go to the punter here, you see he's a 43 overall, very simplistic guys, y'all know this, nothing's really changed with this, this is more for the beginners, um, right tackle here, you, you know, you really just want to trade them, why is there no right tackle, I hate, Madden, you suck, you, you absolutely suck, you understand that, you suck, you suck, you jackass, uh, okay, well, I'll trade them, Oh, Jesus, holy Christmas on my Tuesday. This is just ridiculous here. Okay, we'll go for a second round pick. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. They're still saying no. Let's see if they accept it for this. Oh, boom, they got him through. Anyways, that is the name of the game. And then make sure you're changing him back. And one thing that this does do uh, is this changes their X Factor ability. At least, at least it did last year. So we'll see if it does this year because he was bazooki. And uh, we'll see if it does. I don't know why it takes so long to edit. We're moving back there. We're not worried about his number because it doesn't matter at this point. But yeah, he's Blitz Radar now, and that's not what it was. So know that and then switch the X Factor back. And you can just keep editing the player, moving him back, and doing it that way. Because I don't believe that there's a way to edit the actual X Factor. Maybe there is. I completely forgot at this moment in time. However, um, you guys, let's see this. Let's go. It's got to be rates yeah uh, so it's the x fact anyways yeah that's basically what you're doing there let's see if it's this one is it this one seven years what the hell anyways whatever you just keep switching it back and forth and you guys will be good hopefully you guys like this video leave us a thumbs up and a comment down below guys we appreciate it greatly we'll see you in the next video make sure to visit the site take it easy boys yeah.